Hello there. <laughs> How are you, Betty? How is everything? Good. They caught us with our lipsticks going on. You know, first yeah. of all, it took a while to find lipstick since we haven't actually been using lipstick. So <laughs> no lipstick, no hair dye, no manicures. It's amazing. And isn't that part of what we want to talk about today, Susan? Absolutely. We want to talk about the things we hope won't go back to normal, right? Exactly. So first of all, let me introduce you. I'm introduce myself, I'm Susan Grice, ancestral trauma and creative transformational expert. And I am carpal coaching with oh this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to do, to do. We don't know how this works. Jackie Atchison, certified divorce coach, marriage mediator, and divorce mediator. How is everybody doing in our like, I don't know, tenth week of? Um, you know, pandemic? I think I lost count. Uh, I think we started March 9th. We I did don't know start how long March that March. was. Right, and but, actually, it's almost more. It's probably about oh god, eleven. Well, weeks you know ago. what? I Who spend this, this is my third Jewish holiday I'm spending at home. We had Purim and oh. we have Passover and now it's Shavuot. That's right. So, so happy Shavuot to Peace those who celebrate. To Absolutely. So everybody, amidst all this disruption and in this pandemic and all its inconveniences, and I'm sorry for anybody who suffered any deaths or illness. And Susan and I both just, our hearts go out to the people and their losses. And the people who are on the front line, again, we just want to say thank you to the people on the front line as well. But yes, we thank you. It's, uh, we appreciate it so much. And I know it's hard and I know it's going to have a hard uh, time afterwards, but we are here for you. Yeah. Okay, so Jackie, I think you're a little else, frozen. You. There you go. I'm frozen. Okay, thank you. But in the midst of all this disruption, um, I absolutely know that there have been some amazing silver linings. And I think that's what we want to talk about today as the country is opening up. So Susan, anything you found or people you've spoken to or clients that are taking something or a few things they've got to experience that they would not have experienced without a pandemic that they want to bring forward as things lift? You know, first of all, I think there's a lot of gratitude. I think that people start appreciating what they have um, and how fortunate they are. Um, you know, unfortunately, there are people who don't have much and they are still grateful regardless. But, um, you know, I was going through, I was, gratitude for me, I mean, I, there's so many things I'm grateful for. Uh, one mm -hmm. of them is, of course, have the opportunity to have my grown-up children at home with me and mm -hmm. getting along. I mean, how many people get that opportunity to be with right. their, their grown-up children and their right. grandchildren? Um, I think gratitude made me realize that sometimes we have too much stuff. <laughs> we got too oh, yeah. much stuff. And I mean, I don't know about any of you, but my wardrobe is limited to maybe about five or six outfits a week. <laughs> and I realized the stuff in my closet, all that stuff you hold on to, it, it doesn't suit me anymore. And I think a lot of people feel the same way. Just doesn't suit us. So what do we really need in life? The necessities of life is more important. Right. And you know, I was also, think about the things we always thought would bring us joy. You know, really, it's the stuff, but that is a fleeting moment in time. And that's why people, are, as an example, people who have addiction issues, I wanna talk about shopaholics, which is an addiction of sorts too. It fills a hole for the moment. So what would bring gratitude at this time is being able to go through your closet and be able to give things to people who need more than you. That really is joy. Yes, yes. I think that's such a great thing to do is, you know, if there's not something we can't do to be on the front line, at least help those in a different way. And one way is to give away things that we realize that no longer suits us, no longer brings us joy, and is unnecessary. Right. Like so, if anybody finds they're in a position where they're not working anymore, like I know, how many people are working from home now? 
And they're going to be in a position, that's another thing, to realize that you can work from home. And when your children go back to school, the advantage of being able to be able to be that work at home parent. You might not need as many suits or dress clothes, but there are some other women out there or men who need to get out into the workforce because they're trying something new or they need a job. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Share so your abundance. Show abundance, right. You start appreciating. Um, I mean, what else am I grateful for? There's so much I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for our health. I'm grateful for, um, I mean, that's that's a given, I think. Um, just the little joys of yeah. being with the grandchildren. I know, unfortunately for you, Jackie, you know, you had to socially distance from your grandchildren, um, you know, but there's that balance between you never seeing your kids and me seeing my kids <laughs> every day. Um, <laughs> that was last week's show on fetching, complaining, inventing, right? <laughs> um, uh, hi, Marcia, and hi, Natalie. Thanks for watching. Um, what else? Um, I'm not getting it up. What are you? Amy, thanks for watching. Yeah, I'm trying to get it up. I can't on get my phone. Get on your phone. You can see it on the phone and click on the show. So I have the show. I, for some reason, I have the show, but I can't seem to get oh. it going. But that's okay. okay. Hi, everybody. Susan is letting us know, letting you know from both of us. Hi yeah. there. Um, yeah, so what I, about you, Jackie? What, what is you know, I was always a person that had a schedule. I was rushing around. People always used to say, like, slow down, slow down. And I never thought I could be in a happy place right. unless I was busy and doing. But the problem with that was I never cultivated anything that was just for me and mine that I found mm -hmm. pleasure in. And I still love socializing, but I think what I've learned too is that there's a lot of things I like to do by myself and for myself, right. such as I've become this incredible, not just cook, and I know you've all heard me say that before, but gardener. I have gardening on a balcony. You know what? I love you should post you should post in one of the comments your pretty little garden that you made. I'm gonna take a picture. picture. Guys, I've learned how to grow from scraps. It's called scrap gardening. And I'm growing romaine. I have one little romaine lettuce, one little celery store, two carrots, four scallions, four garlic <laughs> bulbs, along with all my herbs. And it's amazing. And it's just so delightful to be able to see that. Wow. And it's fresh. You don't have to right. buy it. It's organic right. and it saves money. Right. And all you have to do is give it a little water and love. And you know what else I found out? Coffee grinds make for great fertilizer as does <coughs> eggs. So everything I'm doing is totally organic and I'm so excited and thank so you for great. asking. Well, <laughs> and I you know what the truth is, you. you know what, when we're stuck, in, and we're dealing with our own walls, right? Our own obstacles. <coughs> the best way, no guys, that's not COVID. I think it's just the frog in my throat. Um, and it's not Prince Charming. Anyway, so um, I think that when we're stuck at a wall, oh, I like that. Yeah. When we're stuck at a, <laughs> at well, a wall and we can't figure out what to do. Yeah. We're stuck at the wall and we can't figure out how to get to the other side. We have to become creative. Otherwise we give up. So I think we all are stuck in our little walls, mm -hmm. literally and physically, I guess, uh, mm -hmm. and, and emotionally, that we all learned had to learn to become somewhat creative mm -hmm. and change how we look at things, change how we observe things, change how we react to things. I mean, even with our, our Thursday, you know, thoughts at three here, this carpool coaching, like we create our own little cars uh, be, just Ew. to... <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know, I think we've all been very creative. And I think those who write, those who draw, those who sing, those who try to dance. create new plans, dance, dance. dance. Um, those who, who have to come up with a new creative work model because their model wasn't working mm -hmm. to go into virtual sales or virtual network or virtual communication or whatever it is that we had to learn to adapt. Yes. So when we're creative, we can adapt. You and know if we what? adapt, we survive. I just read that Sir Isaac Newton came up with his law of gravity during one of these natural disasters in life. It's very interesting what you learn. 
And going yeah. back to um, what you're saying about work, it's really, really true. Not only can a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of landlords are going to lose rent because people are not going to be in the offices and they're not going to need as much office space. But along with that is we've learned how to work smarter. Yeah. Not longer. We're more yeah. efficient with our time, which is really interesting as well. But I mean, everybody knows Even I work at that time yeah, it could just be the commute. The timing could just be commute, right? We can add another so that, hour or two of our time. Mm -hmm. So therefore, take care of yourself. Use that time to work out. When you were so busy commuting, you had no time to work out. And for me, it was somebody who went to a gym and had a trainer, as everybody knows. It's amazing what's online now. Yeah, It really, really is. So well, You know, I, I picked up the Peloton app. Let me tell you, I'm doing yoga classes and exercise mm -hmm. class and meditation classes. My husband's doing, you know, the running classes. My son was doing the, you know, the bicycle. It's, it's very cool. It's very right. cool. So, and I would tell everybody Orange Theory has an app. If you're an Orange Theory member, which probably everybody knows, there's um, Isaac Boots, which is every day at 11 o'clock on Instagram Live. And he's Madonna's trainer. You're getting his stuff for free free yeah I'll throw that one out there then there's a gal that does booty yoga which i gotta tell you she's amazing i mean so i just go on youtube i'm doing latin zumba classes when i feel the move right. to move if you can't get out and walk and run you know take and, and the two women i used to work with you know uh my uh allison egan Mm -hmm. Dutwani, she does yoga classes at bamboo moves and then there's tammy donnelly who yeah. has these jazz funk dance classes on her balanced body page. I mean, there's just so much out there. You're fun. So, I mean, that's just a few of the things I'm doing more bike riding now. I'm loving Hi, it. Hi, Anthony. Thanks for watching. So, yes. I mean, the bike riding is actually great too. So, you know, just figure out a way to get out and move. Yeah. Exercise. I think it's very important to release the anxiety as well, by the way, it's grounding. If you're yes. in ground, if you're in hiking, if you can, uh, I know a lot of hiking trails are still closed because it's very narrow paths, but if you can go to but parks. Up, where... up here on the Hudson, they're actually opened. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be hiking hopefully this weekend outdoors with some grandchildren, which I'm very excited about. That's fun. I'm looking My son to went a hike. My son tried um, Breakneck Ridge. Uh, and they said on Sunday, they said it was closed. So, but you know, actually, I actually, I went on that. that and there's a reason why they call it break, break neck. <laughs> Don't do break neck. No, I actually was up at the Palisades doing the uh, interstate park. Okay. And you can go. And so if anybody's from this area, please uh, get rid of your obsession with busyness. Take yeah. it from someone who was always busy. <laughs> that is one of the joys I am bringing forward. Yeah. And for families that were always rushing and nobody had dinner together. Right. So dinner nice. Time. Having meals together is great. Miss that. And there is no excuse to be late from work. Just do it. Just do it. Uh, hi, Jess. Hi, Pamela. Pam, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, guys, you know what? I would love to hear from you guys. Please comment below. I would love to hear what you wish would not change when we go back to normal, if we do. Uh, what is it about your quarantine days, the last two months or so, that you kind of wish would continue? We'd love, yeah, to, hear we'd from love you. to hear from you. Maybe you can help us or other people find something we were not creative enough to come up with ourselves. Yeah. And I do have yeah, to say the sure. one thing that's going to be very hard for a lot of people, their animals and their pets. I know for me, my pets are all over me. And I know when life goes back and I'm out the door a bit more, cats and dogs are probably going to be going through what children are going through now, the stress and anxiety the other way. They're going to have loneliness issues. Separation anxiety, yes. you know, germ phobia. I don't know the technical term. You know, germ phobia is a good me. one. What? Germ phobia is good. <laughs> yeah, whatever, making that up. I don't know if it's technical. It's term. I'll and take it. I'll take a it. lot of OCD and, and like making sure they wash their hands and they Clorox everything still, you know. Um, and then there's the other people who go the opposite way who don't believe in safety and feel like, okay, let's just get herd immunity, get it over with. And exactly. You know, there's no right or wrong. 
there is no right or wrong with all of this. Just, just make sure no. you respect the other That's person. What Whatever you choose to do, I'm okay with. Just respect other people. Be compassionate. Mm -hmm. Find kindness. Understand what you do affects others. There is a ripple effect that goes on. We're all interconnected. Thank mm -hmm. Alice. Thank you, Allison and Karen, for watching. Anyway, Thank anything you else you'd like to add? You went so I'm over, good. but <laughs> okay. No, I'm good. I'm good. And I want to thank everybody for coming back and joining us and really, you know, thinking about what you can take forward during these times. It must be a lesson out there in all this. Yeah, take yeah. This implement, implement what brought you joy because the truth is, like, we, like Jackie was saying earlier, it's not the things that bring you joy. It's not the external world that brings you joy. It's the internal world. What brings you joy? Because the external world is like a moment in time. The internal mm -hmm. world is with your family, with, you know, and finding your inner purpose and giving and compassion and kindness. That will bring you joy. And you put that very well, Susan. Thank you. Thank you. So with that being said, again, I just want to remind everybody that during these times, Susan and I are still offering complimentary consultations. If anybody needs to talk, get out of their home, let us know, give us a little text. Well, first direct message us, get us our, get our text message information, give us a shout out. We will find the time to do a walk with you, get out of your home, release whatever you need to release. Again, then complain figure out a better way to deal with the uh, intricacies, complications, and things that are coming along with this. Because we know along with taking the good out of it, there are some things that are still very difficult. I mean, I deal with it, and so does Susan in our work. So we respect that. And if anybody needs help, we're still here for you. And with that being said, this is Jackie Atchison, certified divorce coach, marriage mediator, and divorce coach and divorce mediator and glad that you joined us today during our carpool coaching <laughs> and this is susan greif ancestral trauma and create transformational expert uh you know what i wrote i wrote down experts but we're all good we'll have to <laughs> not that expert i guess you anyway. are you're an expert in many areas my dear <laughs> you're a plural thank you anyway hope you all have a great day and peace later. out peace out <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.